Hi, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm going to show you one of the things I do in all my houses that's really inexpensive and easy to do. Um, today we're using a product uh, called Purr, and I like the, uh, the black foam. This is a gun foam. I buy these guns uh, through EFI.org, and this is a, a reusable gun with a disposable canister, and I get a lot of foam out of this. And the nice thing is I can dispense some foam and uh, throw it in the back of my truck, pull it out again, and it's ready to go again. So what I'm going to show you today is on the exterior of my houses, I really want a nice airtight shell. We're trying to build tight and ventilate right in our houses. And so I'm going to show you today how we're, one of the ways that we build tight. I think I mentioned in prior video posts, I really am a big fan of spray foam insulation. But the spray foam that we're using on our wall systems is an open cell foam, meaning that vapor transmits fairly easily through it, and so does water. So obviously you need a very um, uh, waterproof cavity to begin with. Um, and the foam will seal in air leaks. However, I really like uh, to go through the house and make sure any penetration that, and penetrations in the outside shell, uh, be that electrical outlets, um, plumbing pipes, maybe for a, uh, a hose bib, electrical outlets, anything that's penetrating through my outside uh, Tyvek weatherproof barrier could be a potential air leak into the house and could let a little bit of moisture in through that space as well. So I'd like to go through and use this uh, closed cell foam, uh, and it's black in color, so if it does poke through an electrical box and the sun hits it, it's a UV stable. Let me show you how I'm doing that. This is a recessed um, electrical box that I really like by, uh, I believe it's by Arlington. And uh, you can see here when the electricians cut this in, there's just a little bit of light penetrating through it on that outside. And anywhere you can see light, that's a potential um, uh, air leak. And it's also a, a place that moisture could leak in much easier than just leaking in through the OSB or through the Tyvek barrier. So with this foam gun, you're going to see here, can you zoom in a little bit on that? I'm just going to go ahead and depress the trigger. And boy, that just lays a nice bead of foam right on there. I'm going to foam all the way around this box. It takes me literally less than a minute per box. And then all that light is gone. And just for the heck of it, I also like to just foam in any potential air leaks in there. And now, whether this house is getting spray foam or uh, a total fill, let's say like a fiberglass insulation, uh, this house is going to be nice and air and uh, vapor tight. In this case, as I mentioned, we're using spray foam on this house. Spray foam guys will be here in a little over a week. But this is just making sure we've got a nice, good, tight shell with a closed cell foam. Now, this is a, this is a high expansion foam. It's going to expand out over time. And, uh, and all that light transmission you saw through that box has now been eliminated. We're making a nice, tight exterior in this house. Okay. And this stuff costs about... I don't know, 12 bucks a can, 15 bucks a can, somewhere in that range. The disposable gun, or pardon me, the reusable gun, is 75 bucks. So I use maybe two cans of this per house, just sealing up on all those exterior penetrations prior to my uh, insulators coming. And so that $30 investment will pay itself back many, many times over in a very tight house. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.